Hello, YouTubians. It is me, Big Unks, B I G U N C S. How are you all? I'm doing pretty darn good. I to think about that for a second. <laughs> um, today I have a pop in the box unboxing. And I got something in the mail from a friend of mine, which is all about childhood memories. <laughs> all right, so let's start with the uh, pop in the box. Oh, I don't know where you guys live, but it is. Hot in California. Ugh. Bubbles. Oh, come on. I thought this thing was called Pop in a Box. This is my second month and I have yet to get a pop. So we got Masked Deadshot from Suicide Squad. See they have. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Oh. I guess I don't have to open it because that's what he looks like. I'm not really into the dwarves. I have to check because if they're charging me full price for dwarves, got the Falcon. This is available. Black Panther. I know one machine. And that's what he looks like. So I'm gonna take him out of the box. Is it a sticker? No. Yeah. And last but not least, and which may be my last pop in a box. I mean, of all the Disney ones, he would probably be one of the few that I would like. There's all the different characters they have. And that's what he looks like. Sully, Sully, Sully. Now, as for this other box. Now, I know I'm Older than most of you guys out there, but from about the age of let's say 11 to probably 16, every year my mom would ask us, "Hey, what do you guys want for Christmas?" Me and my brother, and we'd have to make a little list. It wasn't anything you know, crazy. We weren't like super rich or anything, but from about the age of 11 to through 15 the top thing on my list every year was a renewal to the movie to the movie it was a renewal subscription to the magazine Dragon I don't know how many of you guys remember that or if any of you actually played Dungeons and Dragons when you were younger but it was a really good um, magazine I don't think it really was made for kids because the articles were just, you know, really good, well-written articles about anything and everything having to do with any type of uh, role-playing game. It didn't just have to be Dungeons and Dragons. But, I mean, you could read an article about like what it's like to be a shopkeeper in a town in a Dungeons and Dragons game. I mean, it was just really. Uh, I mean, and it was the, the 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 articles would go across the spectrum of everything, you know, and it was just a really good magazine that. I really enjoyed it, and I didn't, it felt like I was, when I was, you know, when I was 11, 12, 13, it felt like I was reading a magazine that was, like, above me, and then as I got older, you know, and I understood the articles more, and I didn't have to run over and get a uh, uh, dictionary or something to try to figure out what some of these words meant, but it was just a really good magazine, 
and uh, from all those years of receiving I had saved probably about a dozen copies that I had and do a fire back in 2002 I lost all of those copies but there was one issue in particular that just had the greatest cover art I've ever seen and um, my buddy sends me this thing he's like hey that uh dragon magazine he goes check this guy out because he was selling back issues of dragon magazine and I was like dang dragon magazine this is from it's number 108 Top my head. It started in the 70s and they went through, I want to say they went into the mid 90s, but it was just a really, so I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, role playing types of games and stuff. And, but this cover has <laughs> just been. From my childhood, this is like one of the things that I thought about the most. I don't know if you can see it in this picture, but there's a, a creature about to attack her right here. It's yeah, great. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Hope I didn't bore any of you. Little stories about myself. Um. So kind of fun looking at all the pictures that people have been entering into the, the contest on uh, Joe Manganero's um, the horror Facebook page, all the people's items. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.